Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, somewhere around 4 o'clock, it is November 7th, 2015. This is Welcome to Saturday. Uh, somewhere around 55, 57 degrees, 13.4 Celsius, 48% humidity. And... Nope, not enough sun to get the old energizer charged up there. Um, I'm just going to close up up here for tonight. I figured I'd grab the camera. Show you guys what I'm up to with that uh, snow blower. When it comes to swapping engines around, and I think this particular really for sear stuff in particular shaft size is one of the problems uh, two problems with sear stuff actually some sear stuff have um, two shafts on the back of the engine mentioned it yesterday one spins counterclockwise and it's a little smaller and that's typically what they use to drive the wheels and then they have the large one off the crank that drives the auger and the kicker. This engine only has one shaft, which is good. Um, they put the keyway right integrated in with the pulleys, which is okay. By the way, check out the uh, the little pulley for driving the. Uh, Driving the belt is two pieces. Just smash it together and it smashes up against this um, collar. And then you smash that against it and you put the bolt in and it holds it all tight. Once again, these are keyed also, as you can see. Right, one key, two key. So that's the pulley assembly. The problem you run it, I'm running into, or when I smash a um, when I smash a uh, Predator engine on it, is so I need a three quarters to seven eighths adapter. And that adapter needs to be cut in half because I got to have half, half the keyway is going to have to grab the adapter on the shaft there. And then the other half is going to be where the pulley grabs the adapter. So, yeah, that's kind of a pest. don't have a lot of choice though. My uh, camera says she's gonna, the battery's gonna croak. I guess this is a bit of a short video. I checked eBay and they do have a one inch to three quarters adapter. About 20 bucks, 17, 50, something like that. I'm hoping they also have another one I can spin it myself on a lathe, on my lathe, but it seems like all the material I have isn't quite big enough, which means I'd have to start out with a solid hunk of aluminum or steel and start spinning it. And that'll take, and then bore it, which will take forever. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to find a solution that somebody's already built. Anyway, thanks for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up. And folks, please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now.